On tonight's episode, we're going to talk about TRX442. And we're going to try to enduro this truck. Not funny. <laughs> The Alter C Hobby Show airs every Friday, 7 o'clock, on Facebook and YouTube. And what do we cover, Chris? We cover running videos, we do build videos, we do customer setups, we have special guests, we cover local events. We race all across Western Canada and we always love to show footage from all the events that we do have and we do enter. Welcome. Welcome. Episode 75. 75. Big ol' 75. This is our, our run. This is Chris. Deberto. Deberto. Oh, nice. <laughs> Welcome, man. You're not wearing your Mario or Luigi no. outfit, so no, kind of mustache is good. That's though. just for lives. Yeah. Just for lives. Yeah. So. If you don't tune into our Facebook lives every Thursday at 6 o'clock, usually on Facebook, we highly recommend it. Yeah. We have some fun times. We'll go trail and do some other stuff. So something else to check out on Thursday over on Facebook. Absolutely. But let's get right into it, Chris. Yes, we've got so, some trail trucks today. Yeah, we've got some trail trucks. So we have your TRX4, yes. and I know you went out with... Uh, Baja Braden, yeah, yeah, and uh, Braden. you're having lots of fun with your yeah, TRX4. Yeah, we beat him up pretty good. Yeah. He broke in the end. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Sucker. I beat him up. And we're also going to talk about um, the new Element RC Enduro build. Yes. Um, Chris is kind of taking this on as his own build now. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got him to build it to begin with, and he's like, nah, we're doing a bunch he's of like, oh, I'm, I already built it. I've already put in that time and that effort. I might as well yeah. add it to my collection and do a different build. So. Yeah. So we're going to talk about a budget build over the next couple episodes on this new Element RC Enduro. Yeah. Build. So now that you have a build, you have it fully assembled, what is your opinion on that bad boy? So, okay, building it had its downsides whatever it's their first kit um once the truck was built it's not that bad of a truck um i definitely don't feel like i could drive it the same way as i drive my trx it just doesn't feel like it has that strength built into it maybe once i start driving a little more and get used to it it'll feel like it mm -hmm. i've noticed that element did release hard housings for the axles so you can replace the softer plastic ones i noticed like everything and you showed it's me this when you were building it very soft, very uh, So we'll show you one plastic. really good example of the softer plastic. Um, these shock towers is a prime example. Um, so they do definitely have some play. You can actually like fold those shock towers in and move them around a little bit. Um, so if you were going to run a really heavy body, uh, especially with uh, like say like the defender bodies, things like that, mm -hmm. they're pretty small, pretty weak. Uh, we might have to do what we did with the old SCX-10s. Put some braces and, in there. Yeah, brace yep. it with some threaded rod or something exactly. and, and nut the shocks or, or do something a little bit different. Um, so that was one thing I noticed on here that was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. The plastic looks like it's different um, than the TRX. Yeah. It doesn't look like it has as, as much uh, fiber reinforcement exactly. to it. Um, so it definitely does make it a little bit weaker. But all in all, it's a cool build. It's a cool um, build. The one I've already other... got a few plans for it. So. Yeah. So as you can see, Chris has put some electronics in it. Yeah. So we've gone. We're doing a little bit of the budget build. So I just threw in my stock electronics for my TRX4. Yeah. So XL5, the 21 turn, and then the 2075X, which is uh, kind of sad. Like that servo hurts my feelings. It's, but but it's but. cheap. It's cheap. Right? It's we're going to do a budget build, and we're going to build this essentially so anybody could look at this kit or a raw builder's kit for an SEX 10-2 mm -hmm. and put it down on the trails and have a really competent rig that's going to have uh, a whole bunch of durability mm -hmm. and still going to be able to go on the trails and do everything that everyone else does. So that's what this build is all about. Um, so next is wheels and tires, yep. obviously. Uh, we don't have any wheels and tires for it. So Yeah, I've got to figure out what kind of wheels and tires I want to go with. I'm not sure if I want to do like a plastic bead lock. Mm -hmm. But because the truck is fairly light, I might want to do some SSD wheels. Yep. Add some of that weight down low. That's it. Yeah. So we do still have some building footage of yep. this. Um, so we're going to chalk that up right now. Uh, and uh, yeah, obviously you've seen the finished product. Uh, but yeah, we have the building footage for that. So check it out. Downside with these builds is um, they decided to use 510 four bearings and like the pinion bearings and the wheel bearings, like the outer bearings, along with the pinion bearings and the outer bearings in here. Instead of a larger 511 four, 
which most of the other crawlers have. So you're gonna lose a little bit of life running a smaller bearing, I think. And then also, this is something I'm not very impressed with. See how it holds the bearing in with just the tips of those two screws? That's, um, that, in my opinion, that's a low quality show right there, just having that design. Um, but, I mean, for the price of the kit, at uh, just under 350 bucks, it's not too bad. Uh, so next we're gonna put the links and everything on and see how it looks from there. at that we're all put together we've got all the links put on we're down to the last few steps and surprise it shocks how shocking so we're gonna put the shocks together we're gonna put the drive shafts together and then we're complete and we're ready for electronics so let's get at her <laughs> built folks uh, overall I say the build went well um, there were those few points in the instructions that I did not like um, and overall I mean it's a cheap build it's 320 bucks approximately and I mean I guess you get what you pay for it's not gonna be a high-end kit 
but uh, for a beginner kit, I think it's a great starter. Uh, the shocks and everything went together well, very smooth, and um, everything seems to move really nice and no binding. So can't wait to throw some electronics in it and see what she does on the trail. Did you put it there? Bring back! So the build was good. I had fun. Uh, I really like the gearbox. That's that's my favorite part. Uh, a future plan with this, if I'm not happy with the axles, uh, might get some TRX axles under there. Oh, that'd be cool. Portal axles know, under right? there. We have a rear one. With that from overdrive 442. kit. Do we? Yeah. Ooh, maybe I'll borrow it. And we have portals fitness. too. Ooh. So we have a couple parts for that. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So all in all, it was really nice build shocks on this truck are absolutely That's gorgeous. That's my favorite part, yeah. The shocks. These are one of the nicest shocks. Aluminum, even the lower mount was aluminum. And then as we noted uh, before the plastic ball ends, I replaced them all with metal ones, except for on the shocks. So a little bit smoother that way now. And I've shortened the wheelbase since I built it. And the biggest thing that is going to add so much more durability to oh, the yeah. end longevity to the truck exactly. because it's not going to slop out because it's yeah. plastic on plastic and it's going to wear once it gets dirty. And so, the problem is call. with the plastic ball ends is if you tighten them a little bit too much, they get squished. Then they mushroom. And then they bind up. Yep. And, 100%. Yeah. Would agree. So that was our element RC build uh, and the two part build mm -hmm. footage for that. So keep on track with the videos and we're going to be building it up for a budget build yes. uh, to help you guys and gals out um, to see maybe you want to get into curling, maybe you don't know where to start. Uh, we're going to keep you on track and in the loop. So let's move on to some footage. Yeah. So we also, him and Baja Braden, yeah. went out and we were playing with our T-Rex 4s. T-Rex 4s. So here's some footage of that. It doesn't really need any intro. No. It's a, I mean, it's, TRX it's a crash and bash event. We did not any serious trailing at all. It was pretty much just like mess with each other the whole time, which is almost more fun, right? As long yeah. as no one breaks anything too bad. Like, just pushing your guy over off the trails or making him roll over is always fun, right? Yeah, honestly, that's usually how we trail, but oh, yeah. no big yeah. deal. <laughs> like, there's a jump. Let's hit it with the crawler. It's yeah. fast enough. Exactly. So here's some footage of him and Baja Braden going out and having fun with their TRX force.
Look up, Braden. Look out. Look out. Get out of my way. Jeez, what are you doing? <laughs> So that is the end. That's it. Episode number seventy-five. Yeah. So thank you for tuning in. Yes. But before you leave and check out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all your friends on Facebook. Don't yes. forget to check him out on Instagram, YouTube, yes, and Facebook, yes, RC Deebs, and check him out on Snapchat, DJ Deeber. Yes. Don't forget to head over to our website, www.ultrarchhobbies.com. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and YouTube if, if you're not watching on the other ones. Uh, hit that subscribe button, and if you're on YouTube, hit that bell button so you get notifications Ring on, the bell. on when we drop new videos. So thank you for watching. We really do appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> I'm a car. When I grow up, I'll be a truck. Merca, man. <laughs>